Thank you for following our journey today. Our group arrived at breakfast after a good night's rest to find warm chocolate cake. Life in Israel is the best. Our first stop of the morning was the Temple Mount. It's a holy site for Christians and even for Muslims. This is Mount Moriah in the Old Testament. God called Abraham to sacrifice his only son Isaac on this mountain. What are you and I willing to sacrifice to obey the Lord? The Bible teaches that Abraham departed early in the morning and obeyed God's call. And as we know, God provided a ram at the right time. You and I love and serve a father who always provides. His timing is perfect too. The Temple Mount is the third holiest place for Muslims, Mecca, Medina, and Jerusalem. It's said that from the Dome of the Rock, the Prophet Muhammad went to heaven and met with Moses. Moses told Muhammad to lead Muslims to pray five times a day. A major focus of the Temple Mount is sacrifice. Jewish people would sacrifice to God animals without blemish. God deserved their best. He still deserves our best. Are you and I giving the Lord our best, what we don't need or what we have left over? We saw the Eastern Gate, It's closed today, however, one day Jesus is going to return and come through that gate. We worshiped in the Garden of Gethsemane. What a sacred place. We adored the Lord in song, we taught God's word, we sought the Lord's face. Tears flowed from our group members. We prayed prayers of thanksgiving, confession, and surrender. Angie and I rejoice to pray together again in this place. I ask our group to pray for those of us serving on staff at our church. We're desperate for the prayers of God's people. I was moved and strengthened as people prayed over us. My challenge was then to pray for us using five words. One, devotion. We seek the kingdom of God first. Two, wisdom. It takes God's wisdom to lead in ministry. Three, balance. We need to be able to balance ministry responsibilities and family life. Four, unity. The enemy would love to divide our ministry team and church. And five, protection. Our adversary loves to steal, kill, and destroy. Hearing people pray for us was overwhelming. People wept, people rejoiced. This was a holy ground moment. We enjoyed Jerusalem pizza for lunch. It was a treat for our group. We visited the upper room on Mount Zion. The tomb of David is near too. Allison Klauser read from John 13 and Risa Larson read from Acts 1. Stones from the Holy of Holies can be seen in the upper room. Walking the streets of the holy city is inspiring. We saw thousands of Jewish people going about their day. I pray always to see people through the eyes of Jesus. God opened the door for us to have a gospel conversation with three young students about the suffering servant in Isaiah 53. What an honor to sow gospel seeds in their lives. Our group walked inside the Western Wall Tunnel. We touched stones that date back 2,000 years. Biblical history is deep and rich in Jerusalem. I grew up near Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. The Western Wall Tunnel reminds me of walking through the cave as a young boy. The tunnel is cool and tight in places. The stones in the tunnel are massive. Many people were praying inside the tunnel because of its nearness to the Holy of Holies. We have one more day in the Holy City. We take our last COVID test in the morning. Thank you for praying for us again. We're asking the Lord for negative test results. Bless you for following our journey. We'll have one more update tomorrow. Shalom and have a great Sunday back home.